Hello students, welcome to English Literature Class. This is part 4 of Act 3, Scene 2. In the previous video, we saw Bassanio analyzing all the three caskets, his reasons for rejecting gold and silver casket, why he is impressed by the lead casket because its blunt message moves him more than any eloquent words could do. And then he opens the lead casket and we see him describing the uh, what does he find inside the lead casket? He finds the portrait of Portia. And he goes on describing her picture, how the artist must be a semi-divine person. And he describes how her eyes are, how her lips are, and how also the artist had painted her hair just like a spider weaves a cobweb to trap the insects. In the same way, the artist had painted her, portrayed her hair, her golden tress in such a way that the uh, hearts of the suitors are trapped quicker than the gnats are caught in a cobweb. And then he sees the scroll, he reads the scroll, which tells him, directs him to claim Portia with a loving kiss and also receive a kiss from her. And then we also see how, uh, how he is dazed in a confused state, whether all that applause is for him or not. He feels just like a competitor when, competitor when he hears universal shout, applause, shouts of applause, whether it is for him or not. In the same way here, when he hears the applause from others who are in the room, he doesn't know whether he has truly won Portia or not until it is confirmed, approved and sanctioned by Portia when she kisses him back. Now, let us see what is Portia, Portia's reaction to this. You see me, Lord Bassanio, where I stand, such as I am. Though for myself alone, I would not be ambitious in my wish to wish myself much better. Yet for you, I would be troubled 20 times myself, a thousand times more fair, 10,000 times more rich, that only to stand high in your account. I might in virtues, beauties, living, friends, exceed account. So what is she telling Porsche? What is she telling Bassanio? She tells him that Bassanio sees her, sees her as she is in reality. You see me, Lord Bassanio, where I stand, such as I am, as I am in reality. You see me with all my strength and weakness. You see me with all my merits and shortcomings. So she is telling him she he sees her as she is in reality. Though for myself alone, I would not be ambitious in my wish to wish myself much better. Then she is as then she tells, as far as she is concerned, though for myself alone, I would not be ambitious in my wish. As far as her wishes are concerned, desires are concerned, she is not at all ambitious. She doesn't want anything more. To wish myself much better, she doesn't want to be much better yet for you but okay she's telling yes she'll make an exception she doesn't have her own desires she doesn't want to be much better than what she is now yet for him she's making she's ready to make an exception for him yet for you i would be troubled 20 times myself yes she wishes to be what I wish to be three times 20 of what I am. She wishes to be thrice 20 times better than what she is. Ten thousand, uh, a thousand times more fair, yes. For his sake, she wishes to be a thousand times more beautiful and 10,000 times more rich. She's, we already know that she is beautiful. We already know that she is very rich, yes. 
yet for him she wishes to be thrice 20 times three times 20 of what she is she wishes she were more beautiful thousand times more beautiful and ten thousand times more rich why that only to stand high in your account yes she wishes to be this so that she stands in high regard of him so that in she raises in his estimation in his account come to the meaning one 58 children. Why does she wish all this? In order to stand high in his estimation. A second meaning is given in the text. Financial reckoning, marriage to Portia will solve Bassanius all financial problems. So, if not for herself, yet for Bassanius' sake, she wishes to be Try 20 times, 3 times 20 of what she is, 1,000 times square, 10,000 times more rich in order to stand high in his regard. And then she adds this, I might in virtues, beauties, livings, friends, exceed account. She is happy with what she is, but for his sake, what does she wish that in good virtues, goodness, moral behavior, beauty, living, possessions, and friends, what does she wish that she had all this beyond all description and calculation? Exceed account. She wishes that that she, she wishes that she were infinitely fairer and that her friends, her goodness, her possessions and estates were beyond all description and calculation. Be worth more than what can be reckoned but the full sum of me is sum of something which in term in gross is an unlessened girl unschooled unpracticed then what how does she describe herself okay when you go to a supermarket okay you make many purchases and you get a grand total what is a grand total it is actually a totaling of all the subtotals in the same way how does she describe the sum total of portia on the whole what is portia that is what she is trying to tell Bassanio. but the full sum of me is sum of something that just as a grand total is a total of all the subtotals in the same way this well, what does she tell about herself come to meaning 160 line 160 to 162 but the sum total of myself is the total of something which may be expressed expressed at best as an inexperienced girl untrained and having no education so according to Portia what is the sum total what is the sum total of Portia she is an uneducated, uh, inexperienced, unpracticed girl, untrained and having no education. Please remember here children, this is her modesty which is making her to speak like this. We know that definitely in every way she is far superior to Bassanio. But this shows how much she loves Bassanio. That she tells that she is what? Which, in ter ter which to term in gross is an unrecent girl, unschooled and unpracticed. She is inexperienced. She is untrained and having no education. But happy in this, she is not yet so old, but she may learn. But she is happy that she might be uh, inexperienced. She might be untrained, having no education, but she's happy in the fact that she's happy in the fact that she's not old that she cannot learn. Means she's young enough to learn. That is what she is happy about. Happier than this, she is not bred dull. Please see the degrees of comparison. Happy, happier. And in the next line, you'll get the happiest. She's happier in the fact that. She is not bred so dull. She was not born dull. She is happier that she was not born. She was not born stupid. That she cannot learn. Means she is quite intelligent enough to learn. Happiest of all is that her gentle spirit commits itself to yours to be directed as from her lord, her governor, her king. Happy, we have finished. Happier is also over. But she's happiest of all because she's ready to submit herself, surrender herself, her heart, her mind, willingly 
thank happily to the guidance of her lord master and king basanyo to be molded by him has as he likes see children her total self surrender she is ready to offer herself to him she calls basanyo her lord her governor her king to be molded by him she claims that she is untrained she claims that she is inexperienced having no education but she is happy that she is not old that she is not so old that she cannot learn she is happier that she was not born stupid that she cannot learn and she is happiest of all to submit herself willingly to the guidance of besanyo then myself and what is mine to you and yours is now converted but now i was the lord of this fair mansion master of my servants queen over myself and even now but now this house these servants and this myself are yours my lord i give them with this ring which when you part from lose or give away let it presage the ruin of your love and my wantage to exclaim on you children i hope you are taking down the notes the textbook is in front of you i am in page number 94 i started with the lines 151 and now i'll continue from line 169 uh, myself and what is mine to you so whatever she has including herself whatever is hers what does she want to do to you and yours is now converted whatever she has whatever is hers including herself is now transferred to him come to lines 169 to 70 myself and all that is mine i now transfer to you whatever she has including herself she hands over herself and whatever she has to him but now at that present moment just a moment i was the lord of this fair mansion she was the mistress of the house she ruled over this household master of my servants she looked after her servants guided them and queen over myself she was the mistress of her own actions and thoughts and even now but now now at this moment from that moment this house these servants and the same myself are yours my lord what does she do now she is so happy that he has won her she offers herself to him earlier itself we had seen in the beginning that one half of his hers other half belongs to him whatever is hers is also his but now what does she do she hands over the complete reign of her house of her servants including herself to him but now so from that moment until just a few moments ago she was the uh, lord of her oh, fair mansion fine building house big building master of her servants queen over herself but from that moment okay this house these servants and the same myself including herself or yours my lord she completely surrenders herself to besanyo what does this, what does this show of uh, persia children how much she truly loves besanyo she is willingly ready to submit herself to him to be guided by him she hands over everything transfers everything whatever she has including herself and then i give them with this ring which when you part from lose or give away let it presage the ruin of your love and be my wantage to exclaim on you children in this scene we see now that the casket story has come to an end with the sanyo winning the lottery of casket there are three main subplots Uh, in this drama one is the casket story the next is the bond story and the last story is the ring episode which we are introduced in this scene so now after he has won her what the, what else does she give him now she is giving him a ring what is this ring it is actually a token of love so she wants to give him a ring 
which when you part from she is warning him cautioning him if he ever part uh, parts from the ring loses it somehow he loses it or gives it away to somebody let it proceed let it be a sign the in the ruin of your love so if he ever happens to part from the ring or lose the ring or give away the ring to somebody it is a sign to her of the loss of his love and be my vantage to exclaim on you and it will give her an opportunity vantage to exclaim to accuse him of being faithless so this what does this dialogue of portia proves to us how much she truly loves besenio what she is willing to do for him how then how she gives a ring as a token of surrender how she hands over all her possession including herself to besenio now let us see besenio's reaction to the total self surrender of uh portia madam you have bereft me of all words only my blood speaks to you in my veins and there is such confusion in my past as after some oration fairly spoke by a beloved prince they there that appear among the buzzing pleased multitude where every something being blent together turns to a wild of nothing save of joy expressed and not expressed but when this ring parts from this finger then parts life from hell oh then be bold to say besanio is dead so what is besanio claiming here madam you have bereft me of all words you have taken away my uh, the speech i have become speechless he is dumbstruck actually it seems as if her total self surrender has robbed him of his words he doesn't know how to react to her self surrender only my blood speaks to you in my veins only the rush of blood in his veins is making him speak he's speaking involuntarily just like we blink our eyes involuntarily without our knowledge in the same way somehow he is speaking to her because of the uh, because of the rush of blood in his veins and there is such confusion in my past as from oration fairly spoke by a beloved prince there that appeared among the buzzing pleased multitude he is so overwhelmed he is overpowered by her speech he doesn't know how to react and he tells that he is so confused in his thinking just like whom there is a similar he compares his confused thoughts to the people after having listened to a wonderful speech delivered by their beloved friends so and there is confusion in my powers there is so much confusion in his thought confusion in his thoughts he doesn't know how to express his feelings as like after some oration fairly spoke just he is in a confused state just like the mul pleasing multitude the, just like the uh just uh, by below there that appear among the buzzing please multitude just as the multitude common people after having listened to a speech which is well del delivered there is so much confusion in them they are murmur with admiration buzzing they do but they are also in a confused state uh, confused state they don't know how to express their feelings to express it so in the same way he is also his uh, th his thoughts are also in a confused state just like the people who murmur with admiration after having heard a speech well delivered by their prince where every something being blent together turns to a wild of nothing save of joy expressed and not expressed come to line 182 83 184 to 86 in your textbook and there is so much confusion in my thoughts like the one that follows after a fine fine speech of a beloved prince among a murmuring delighted audience 184 to 86 where every feeling blended together produces a wild confusion expressing nothing but joy which finds only articulate expression so what is he trying to tell here 
that see his physical senses are so much confused as there is confusion among the murmuring happy crowd after a popular prince has eloquently spoken various feelings are all blended into one and produce a wild outburst of joy which is inexpressible just like the people okay they are filled with joy after listening to that speech but they don't know how to express except show their joy in the same way he can express show his joy but he cannot articulate express his feelings but when this ring parts from this finger so he is making a promise to portia if he ever loses the ring then parts life from hands if he ever so if he doesn't have the ring what does it mean that there is no life left in bessania what does it indicate until he lives lives that his this ring will never part from him he will never lose it or give it to anybody if it is not there it is like that lies life has left from his body oh then we bold to say bessania is dead if it ever happens then she can boldly claim that bessania is dead nerissa my lord and lady it is now our time that has stood by and seen our wishes prosper to cry good joy good joy my lord and lady so please remember who were all the other people present in the scene we had uh, portia bessania where are they they are a room in portia's mansion and who are the people pre pre who were the present pre present during that time uh, gracia no nerissa and other attendants now nerissa wants to congratulate her who is nerissa nerissa is the lady in waiting of portia so now she addresses them my lord and lady it is now our time that has stood by and seen our wishes prosper to cry good joy good joy my lord and lady she is telling now time has come for them who have stood there supported them and seen their wishes prosper fulfilled even their wish was that the sano should win so now it is their time who have stood by supported them watched them seen their wishes being fulfilled to congratulate them to cry good joy good joy my lord and lady once nerissa wishes lord bessanio and portia let us see how graciano reacts my lord bessanio and my gentle lady i wish you all the joy that you can wish for i am sure you can wish none from me and when your honors mean to solemnize the bargain of your faith i do beseech you even at that time i may be married too so graciano addresses his friend bessanio as my lord bessanio and portia as my gentle lady i wish you all the joy you can wish come to line 193 i wish you all the happiness that you can wish for yourself whatever you desire whatever you wish he wishes that all their wishes are fulfilled all their happiness that they can wish for themselves is fulfilled i wish all the happiness that you can wish for yourself for i am sure you can wish none from me because he is sure that they don't expect anything else from him except his wish that all their happiness that they can wish for themselves is fulfilled and when your honors mean to solemnize he is telling them he addresses them as your honor have you seen in court my lord my your honor my lordship all these things in the same way he addresses them as your honor so when these two people the lord and the lady decide intend mean to solemnize intend to celebrate the bargain of your faith means the contract of their love so when bessanio and portia intend to celebrate the contract of their love i do beseech you i request you what is grishina telling i request you even at that time 
I may be married to at that very same time when your honors decide to get married, even I also wish the same. Even I want to get married at the same time. So what is Grishana actually telling here that when the Bessanio and a Portia intend to celebrate the contract of their love at that same time, at that moment, even he wishes to be married. Now Bessanio is surprised. Where did the uh, Grishana get a wife for himself? I'm in page number 96 in the textbook children. With all my heart so that so thou canst get a wife. Bassanio is always ready to grant whatever is the wish of uh, Graciano. Earlier, I hope you remember in Act 2, Scene 2, he has a request, the Graciano comes running to him and he has a request and Bassanio, even without listening to it, he grants his wish. What was the wish of Graciano? That he wanted to accompany uh, Bassanio to Belmont. In the same way here, Bassanio, yes, is ready to do everything, whatever Graciano Wants. But now the problem is he doesn't know who is the girl. So he tells, yes, he is ready for, for uh, Grishana to be married at the same time when Bassanio gets married, provided he gets a wife for himself. So thou canst get a wife so that you can provide that you can get a wife for yourself. Grishana, what does Grishana have to tell you? I thank your lordship. Yes, he thanks Bassanio for agreeing to have his wedding along with Bassanio himself. I thank your lordship. You have got me one. He also thanks Graciano, Bassanio not only for agreeing that Graciano can get married at the same time when Bassanio gets married, but also thanks him for having been instrumental in getting a wife for himself. You have got me one. You are the means for me getting a wife. My eyes, my lord, can look as swift as yours. You saw the mistress? I beheld her. Beheld the maid. Just as you can look at things very quickly, at beauty, even in the same way. Just as you saw Portia, you saw the mistress? I beheld the maid. Beheld means see, saw. Beheld uh, past tense of behold. See, saw. I beheld the maid. Who is the maid here? Nerissa, the lady in waiting, just as Bessanio saw Portia with her eyes and captured her. Uh, and in the same way, he saw Nerissa and he wished to have her as his wife. You love, just as Bessanio loved Portia, he also loved Nerissa. For intermission, no more pertains to me, my lord, than you. Just as Bessanio is very impatient he cannot uh, he does not he's no more inclined to inclined to delay things and he doesn't like the period of waiting in the same way so for intermission come to the line uh, 202 a period of waiting uh, no more pertains to me is no more welcome to me just as the period of waiting delay is not welcomed by Bessanio in the same way this is also not like it is no more welcome to uh, Graciano. No more pertains to be my lord than you. Your fortune stood upon the casket here. So Bassanio's fortune, luck depended on what? On the casket. And so did mine too. What is Graciano claiming? Just as Bassanio's fortune, luck depended on the casket, his own luck too depended on the casket as the matter falls. As things turned out, even his fortune, luck also depended on the cat's kids, just like Bessanio. Then he goes on to explain for wooing her here until I sweat again and swearing till my till my very roof was dry with oaths of love at last, a promise last. I got a promise for, of this fair one here to have her love provided that your fortune achieved her mistress. So what is uh, Graciano telling here? So he had to woo Portia. He had to make so many promises. He had to court her for wooing her until I sweat. Until I sweat again. Sweat again. Come to the meaning here. 
206 he owed her he courted her with all his energy with all his energy and swearing he had to swear how much he loved her he had to promise her so many things until the very roof was dry uh, dry until the roof of his mouth dry he had to ooh Marisa so strongly and with so much energy that the very roof of his mouth became dry with oaths of love. Why did his mouth become dry? Because he had to claim her with oaths of love at last. A promise last. Now he is telling he had to declare his love and if her promise still holds good, because earlier what had she told? I, he had got a promise from this fair one. Who is the fair one here? Nerissa. He got a promise from Nerissa to have her love that she is ready to marry him. To bestow her love on Graciano. Provided that your fortune, who is your fortune here? That is Bassanio achieved her mistress. Yes. So Nerissa had promised Graciano that she is ready to marry him provided Bassanio achieved her mistress provided Bassanio won Portia. This is how he had got a promise from Nerissa. He hopes that her promise still holds good. I hope you have understood this dialogue children. So now Portia reacts is this true nerissa she cannot believe it how could it happen so quickly so for confirmation she asks nerissa whether it is true nerissa madam it is so you stand please with all yes she yes she claims she tells that it is true the okay and she hopes that per portia agrees with this so you stand pleased with all, provided that Portia is pleased with this turn of events. Bassanio, do you, Graciano, mean good faith? No, Bassanio wants to know whether Grac uh, Graciano really means it in good faith. Yes, faith, my lord. Bassanio agrees. Yes, he really means it. He really means to marry her in good faith. Bassanio. Our feast shall be much honored in your marriage. He is very happy for his friend, Graciano. Portia is very happy for Nerissa. And so what does it tell? Line 216, our marriage feast shall be honored by having your marriage celebrations at the same time. So Bessanio doesn't mind, okay, to celebrate his own wedding with that of Graciano. And he feels he shall be honored, that their marriage shall be honored by having gracious marriage celebrations at the same time. Let us, con uh, I'll stop here children, we'll continue what happens next in the next video. Children, please go to the textbook. I hope uh, you will also, uh, you have also started writing, completing your workbooks for the other lessons and poems that I have already done. If you have any doubts, please jot down somewhere so that when we meet you can clarify let us meet in the next class